Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In the previous video, we had learned what is if and else statement. Now in this lecture, we will talk about switch statement. If and else statement allow us to specify one or two statement on the expression. But using switch statement, you can specify expression with the multiple statements. Suppose, if you wanted to specify four statement for a specific expressions, then you can do that using switch statement. If you use if and else statement to execute more than four statement, then you need to specify multiple expressions to execute more than four statement. Using switch statement, you can execute multiple statement with a single expression. Let's take an example of switch statement. So we'll just say switch. In the parenthesis, we specify expression and we then add curly braces and in this block, we specify case keyword value 1 colon and here we specify our first statement. So this statement executed when the result of our expression matches value 1 and then we specify break keyword then we specify case value 2 and here we specify statement 2 with the break keyword then we also add case value 3 colon and the statement 3 with the break keyword and then we add case value n so the n stands for n number of values you can specify multiple statement if you want and then we specify break keyword then the last we specify default colon and specify the default statement here Using this syntax, you can create multiple statement with a single expression. We start switch statement using a switch keyword and specify expression in the parenthesis. Then we open the compound statement using open and close curly braces and in this block, specify our first case and its value. JavaScript will evaluate expression and pick the case matches to that expressions. So, the statement will execute one by one at the time and execute matches case statement. And after that, exit from the switch statement using break keyword. We will talk about this break, continue, return and throw keywords in the future lectures. But just for now, keep in mind that break statement used to break the execution of the statement. You can specify number of n values in the case. It's upon you. Now let's take an example of a switch statement. Suppose you have a question with four options. You need user input to select one of the four options. When the user select the option, we display that option on the console. This is very simple example to understand. So if you have a question like which language do you choose that have four options, first JavaScript, second python third php and fourth asp.net and when the user select one of the four options then we display that selected option on the console right so i'm gonna add let answer is equal to one and end the statement with semicolon and then we start the switch statement with the expression so in the expression we specify the variable name answer and specify curly braces so in that curly braces we specify first case one colon the statement so now we display message on the console so i will write console.log and print you have select javascript and after that, I will break the execution. Then we create case 2 and display message on the console. You have select Python and break the execution. 
then create case 3 and print the message you have selected php and break the execution using break keyword after that we create fourth case and specify message in the console.log method and just say you have select asp.net and then specify break keyword at the last we specify a default execution so i will add a default keyword then colon and specify default message so i will say console.log sorry you choose a wrong answer and break the statement now when you execute this code you will get the first statement on the console because we selected first option now if i change the answer variable value and select second option then the result would be second statement and the same thing work for the third and fourth options also it's depend on your cases we just specified four cases here you can specify more than that so switch statement is not limited for a specific program you can use this concept to achieve a different task now what if i specify 5 in the answer variable so switch statement execute a default block for those values which was not matches to the cases now i also wanted to cover one more topic which is javascript external file there is a one more way to link your javascript file to your html when you are creating more than 100 lines of code then the code will be complicated to solve this problem you can create a separate javascript file to manage code so to create a new file of javascript just click on this icon and specify your javascript file name and its extension to recognize the javascript file you need to specify .js extension to the javascript file so i will just create a main.js file here after that you need to link javascript file to html using script tag so to link this file go to your html and specify script tag In this script tag, insert source attribute and specify your absolute path of JavaScript file. Now your JavaScript file is linked to your HTML file. Now I will just copy this program and paste it in the JavaScript file. The program is working fine. Separating your JavaScript code from the HTML document will help you to organize your code properly. I asked a question in the comment. Answer that question and increase your knowledge. That is all for this lecture. We will see you in the next one.